In this morning's Health Watch, catching up on medical news. A lot of important studies slipped under the radar this year. And Dr. Pamela Peek is a medical expert at Moore Magazine and the author of Body for Life for Women. She's here with some health news that you probably haven't heard yet in 2009. And this is all good news. Good morning to you, Dr. Peek. Well, good morning to you. So good to have you. Right. This is going to surprise people. Is it better to have milk in the morning or a glass of juice? Hit the skim milk. Why? Protein. It'll increase your satisfaction cut your calories for the rest of the day, and cut your carb cravings, what's not to love? That's right. So then you don't you don't get as hungry as That's the day goes on. That's the whole on. point. And that is the whole point for not overeating. You got it. And speaking of overeating, of mm -hmm. course, we, we need to have a lot of vegetables yeah. in our diet. But you say vinegar on them helps That's what? Right. New science shows that the acetic acid in vinegar helps you burn fat. So this doesn't mean you drink the whole bottle. It could, <laughs> could get ugly. But what you do is you cook with it, put it on your salads, rock and roll with your vinegar. Gosh, vinegar. That's good. That's Hot. an easy thing. And by the way, why haven't we heard of these things? They you came out this year. Because as you know, we're both physicians, right? So the bottom line is so many research studies are coming out. We can only hear about two or three, a tsunami of them from all over the world. So we're giving you some new ones today. I love that. We don't have anything on the table to represent this. However, Tell us what walking backwards does. Isn't this the wildest thing? When you walk backwards, that means you're more vigilant. You know, like Maybe you're doing a little fight and flight. Mm -hmm. That means you think more clearly. So guess what? If you have a something heavy on your mind, big uh -huh. decision to make, walk backwards. Start walking backwards? Close the door in your office before you do this, okay? <laughs> and then just walk backwards and think, wow. And you think better. Okay, well, Absolutely. I'm going to walk backwards, and I'm going to ask you about right. cheese and wine. I'll join you. Uh, All right, white wine mm -hmm. erodes the enamel from your teeth. Okay. Most people don't know that. Rieslings are the worst. Chablis, mm -hmm. Chardonnay, the rest of them are a little bit better than that. So be careful. How do you neutralize that? Have a little cheese. Everyone out there is loving this news. Mm -hmm. And so the cheese and wine thing works. And then mix it up with some of the reds that don't have that, as, that acidic problem. It's the calcium in the cheese that's going to help oh, you out, right? calcium. That's that, where it's at. I love this news. Okay, down here we have a burger, which mm -hmm. looks a little dry, but it sure does there look good, is. and steak. Everybody's been told that you shouldn't have red meat. It's bad, particularly for women's health. Okay, guess what? Brand new studies show there's absolutely no correlation between having red meat and breast cancer. So the key thing is keep it down to three ounces and avoid all those processed meats. I love that. And then exercise, I want to get to this one quick. Oh. Exercise for those going through menopause. Exercise is oh, medicine. Bottom line is you got to exercise. All right, thank you so much, Dr. Pamela Peek.